Look at all these accomplishments! This industry helps create all manners of electronic devices for society. From your everyday household appliances to high-tech gadgets such as your phone, your TV, your camera, your computer. It helps to provide us with a convenient lifestyle. And boy boy, if you work here next time, you will be able to help me install all these fancy gadgets at home. Come, let's go into the world of electronics. Hello, search electronics industry. Hello, hello. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, no problem. Oh, excuse me. Yes. I want to find out more about the electronics industry. Can you help me? Sure. I'm Su Hot and I'm a senior manager here. So how can I help you today? Nice to meet you. So what is your role here? So I'm responsible for product failure diagnostics and failure analysis. So my role is to uncover the root cause of the problem of the chips and fix the problem. Oh, I see. So what does it take to be a good manager? As an effective manager, one has to possess a good mix of administrative skills as well as a strong leadership qualities. One has to be knowledgeable, uh, has to be technically sound, and most importantly, has to be on the ground with the team. Wow, you must know a lot about this industry. Can you tell me more? The electronic industry is an integral part of the overall Singapore economy, and it has a sizable workforce of over 79,000. And furthermore, Singapore is one of the largest semiconductor manufacturers in the Asia-Pacific region. And a lot of the electronic goods create spin-off to other industries like the biomedical, chemistry, automotives, gaming, just for example. Wow, I never knew how extensive this industry is. Thank you, Suhua. Hi, children. Hi, Aki. Hi, Hi, nice to meet you guys too. I'm going to show you a picture and you guys will tell me what you think it is. Okay, ta -da. A giant magnet. Foot Lego machine. A foot Lego machine? Okay, what do you think it is? It's a catapult. This is actually the first ever communication device, way before your telephone. This is actually the first electrical speech machine. Oh. Okay, next one. What is this? Is it a SIM card memory card? It's a time robot like in the Transformers movie. This is actually a microchip. So it is a semiconductor wafer that sends electric currents that power up your electrical devices. One last question. If you could have any electronic device in the world, what would you have? Mm. A TV that can let me touch and smell everything I see. Mm. Money machine. Money machine! Oh, I like that too. Extra spectacles. Extra spectacles. You guys are so creative and so clever. I hope next time when you grow up, you guys will really invent these devices. Wow, look at all these giant towers, boy boy. I wonder what they're for. Oh! Okay, okay thank you. Hi. Wow, this looks like very complicated plans. What is your job here? My name is Betty. I'm a facilities engineer here. Uh, my job is to in charge all the incoming gases and chemicals for manufacturing a weapon. So basically, I would oversee uh, a day-to-day -day operations on the gas and chemical dispense systems. Oh, I see. So what are these towers behind us? These towers are where the gases are stored to supply to the process. So what are some of the challenges that you face? Being a facilities engineer, you will face a lot of challenges. So what you need to do is to continually adapt and you will learn new things along the way. And you also need to understand how a little preventative maintenance can help a company to save money, resources and manpower. Are you listening to this boy boy? Keep these things in mind if you want to grow up to be like Betty. Thank you so much for your time. Everyone is so focused here. I wonder what they're working on. Hello. Hi. Hi, so sorry to disturb you. No, it's okay. I would like to inquire about your job for my son. Yeah, sure. My name is Alfred. I'm an integration engineer here 
and my duty is to assure the product to manufacture here and to go through a series of good inspection to meet all the requirements for our customers. Wow, that's a really important job. Can you also share with me what makes a good integration engineer? Yeah, sure. To make a good integration engineer, we need to have interpersonal and writing skills. And we also need to keep ourselves up to date to the advancement of software and system. We need to adapt to the fast changing environment quickly because all the projects vary from one to another. We need to have a good interest on finding out how the things work in micro level. And last but not least, we need to have problem solving skill to find out what is the root cause and resolve it. Wow! Thank you so much for your time, Alfred. I've learned so much today and I hope you have too, boy boy! The electronics industry is constantly evolving. I remember a time when phones can only make calls. Now, the functionalities of mobile devices are ever-expanding. What a wonderful time for you, my boy boy, to grow up in. The possibilities are endless if you choose to join the electronics industry.